Welcome back, everyone. Yes, uh, we survived Hurricane Matthew. Uh, where we were at, it really actually wasn't that bad. The wind picked up a little bit, and it rained a little bit. Honestly, uh, the eastern coast of Florida got it a lot worse than we did. Uh, currently, it is 11.30 out here at the flea market, and we're sitting at $1.99. It has been a really good start for us so far today. A few things we've sold here in the last few hours. We sold Mario Party 7. It was a factory-sealed copy. We sold Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, for the original Xbox. One of our regulars came in and picked that up. We sold Lego Star Wars Complete for the Wii. We sold a used uh, N64 controller. I think it was a clear purple one. Uh, Jamie, the video streamer, came in, picked up the Atari 7800 that I had. It was the uh, modded one that took a Sega Genesis Model 1 power supply and the modded uh, Sega Genesis controller. I let him have 10 games for it as well. We sold Xeno Gears, complete in box for the PS1. Amazing condition uh, game. Really nice to see that go. We sold Assassin's Creed for the 360. Then somebody came in and picked up Spy Hunter and Rush 2049 for the N64. Also, one of the, our regulars came in. One of the collectors brought me some amazing stuff, guys. I've already got it out, so I'm going to walk around and show you the stuff. All right, guys. Out of all the stuff now that we just took in from the uh, collector, he brought. He, this is the gentleman who bought two of these, the Superboys. He brought one back. Since this is used, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, it's still in just amazing shape since he is a collector and he definitely takes care of all his stuff. Another item he brought in, he brought in this individual Mother 3 here. He brought back the boxed Pokemon Yellow. Amazing condition. And he also brought... The Game Boy Advance SP, this is the Famicom edition. It's in amazing shape as well. Brought us a boxed Super Game Boy. It is missing the manual, unfortunately. And then two really great Super Nintendo games. He brought in another copy of Mega Man X. It's probably a better condition than the one that we have. And the Secret of Mana in the back. It is coming up on 1.30. We're setting at 4.90. Uh, it has turned out to be a really good Saturday for us. Here are a few of the things we sold. We sold a new Wiimote uh, with Motion Plus in it. They also picked up a used uh, regular Wiimote. And they picked up Cars Mater National for the Wii as well. We sold Last of Us for the PS3. We sold an NES system to one of our collectors. They also picked up a Game Boy Advance SP. It was a Platinum uh, version. Really good shape with a charger. Uh, we sold a wired 360 controller. We sold GTA 5 for the 360. We then sold Sega Mega Drive's Ultimate Edition for the um, PS3. It is the European version, but because the PS3 is uh, region free, it plays in it fine. It's not in uh, any other like foreign language, it was in English. We sold uh, Ultima's Quest of the Avatar Loose for the NES. They also picked up uh, Lagoon Complete in Box for the Super Nintendo. Then Ultima Runes of Virtue 2 for the Super Nintendo Complete as well. We then sold uh, a $10 comic. I think it was one of the new Mutant comics. And then we sold an HDMI cable. So guys, once things start picking up again, I'll let you know. Well, we took in a couple more games and a couple plug and plays. First, probably the best game that uh, we have gotten. Out of this lot, we got Mega Man Battle Network 5. I think it's Team Proto Man. Pretty cool. Then we got kind of a throwaway game. This is Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Dead Man's Chest. Probably like a $2.99 game. Then we got a couple plug and plays, both Pac Man. They're a little worn, but they both work. The uh, sticks work on them, and the cables, when you rattle them, they don't like jiggle around. The picture doesn't jiggle around. So there's the first one. Pretty cool. And here is the other one. Well, guys, it is 3.45. It's time to get out of here. We ended up at 7.46. We actually had 26 sales today, averaging almost $29, which is absolutely crazy. That's pretty much what we do in the weekend instead of one day. Uh, here's a few things that we sold at the end. We sold uh, one of our regular customers coming in. I call him kind of the bartender because he always has tons of wands that he gives us. He picked up Aerobiz, Blue Brothers, Blues Brothers, and WWF Royal Rumble off of the Super Nintendo. We had somebody come in and pick up two Wii nunchucks, both brand new. One of our other collectors come in and picked up Bad Dudes for the NES, Power Rangers for the Genesis, and a uh, non-working GameCube. Couldn't really get it to work. It comes up immediately to an error if he needed the drive out of it, I believe, or the power supply. He was going to use it for that. We then sold the DS Lite. They picked up uh, Dragon Ball Z, GT Transformation, and Sonic Advance, both for the Game Boy. 
We sold six Skylanders, the GameCube Spice controller that I had out here, a new style RF adapter that works with the 2600 and Intellivision, ColecoVision, that kind of stuff. Then we ended up at the very end, sold our Xbox 360 Slim, I think it was a 120 gig hard drive with all the hookups and one controller. So yeah, it was a really, really good day for us. So now guys, stay tuned for Sunday. Welcome back everyone to a rather mild Sunday morning here at the Big Top. Currently it is 11 o'clock. We are sitting at $25. It's been really slow, but that's to be expected on a Sunday morning. It only doesn't pick up till about 11, 11.30, um, up closer to noon. A few things we sold here in the last few hours. We sold three DVD box sets. We sold Adventures of Mighty Max box for the Sega Genesis. And we sold I Spy Funhouse box for the Nintendo DS. But Bobby came in and brought us some stuff, guys. So let me show you the few things that we picked up from him. All right, guys, here is the stuff that Bobby brought in. First, we're going to do the N64 games. Nothing fancy here. Uh, Fox Sports College Hoops uh, 99. All-Star Baseball 2000. This is NBA Courtside. Automobila Lamborghini. Another copy of Turok 2. For second 64. Wave Race 64 and NBA Jam 99. We got two Atari 2600 games. We got Stampede and a copy of Pac Man. One PSP game. This is SOCOM Fireteam Bravo 3. It is complete. A Lone Dreamcast game that is trick style in good shape. Complete. Only one PC game. I know I'm not going to keep this one for myself. It is Deep Blue Sea 1 and 2. Kind of a casual puzzle game. It is sealed. Then we've got Ferrari Challenge for the Wii Complete. Pac-Man Party Complete for the Wii. Got a loose copy of NASCAR 14 for the PS3. Loose copy of Jack and Dexter for the PS2. Bullet Storm Complete for the PS3 couple racing games. We got NHRA Championship Drag Racing complete for the PS2. IHRA Drag Racing for the PS2. One of my favorite racing series. This is Burnout's Revenge for the Xbox. The Voice for the Wii U. Yeah. And I picked this up for a buck. It is missing two of the discs, but we've got the case, the manual, and the disc three and four. Just in case we ever get a copy in, we're missing some discs. We'll, it'll actually help us complete it. That is a copy of uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Well, it is coming up on 1 o'clock. We are sitting at 2.22. It is definitely picked up for us. Quite a few people walking around. A few things we sold here in the last couple hours. We sold WWF Warzone for the N64. Serious Sam, the next encounter for the PS2. It was complete. Uh, one of our regulars came in and picked up WWE 2, uh, 2K13 for the PS3. Sold a PS3 power uh, adapter. It was one of the original uh, PS3s, so it's like a PC cable. Then our big sell for today uh, was a the Game Boy Advance SP Famicom uh, version, the one we got in yesterday. It sold. We also picked up Zelda Minish Cap and Final Fantasy Tactics. We sold uh, Thor, God of Thunder for the Wii. It was actually um, a complete copy too. We sold Hawks for the PS3. We sold a copy of Wii Sports. Then a gentleman come in, definitely a collector because of all the different systems he bought for. He got Star Wars for the 32X, Republic Commando, which was a, a Star Wars game for the original Xbox, as well as Kingdom Under Fire for the uh, original Xbox, then Scooby-Doo, uh, Mystery Mayhem for the GameCube, and then Thrill Thrillville for the PS2, also complete. So guys, once things start picking up again, I'll let you know. Well guys, it is 3.30, we ended up at 3.12, not a bad Sunday for us, and turned out to be an amazing uh, weekend for us. A few things we sold here in the last few hours, we sold a loose copy of Spyro's Ripto's Rage for the PS1. The gentleman came in and picked up Ridge Racer 64, NBA Courtside, and Forsaken. The last two were ones we just got from Bobby today. We then had, uh, I think his buddy picked up uh, Top Gun, Days of Thunder, and NES Play Action Football for the all for the NES. Then a kid come in and picked up Naruto uh, Ultimate Ninja 3, complete for the PS2. Uh, then a, a couple old ladies come in and picked up Darkfall, the journal for the PC. Uh, then somebody picked up 1080 Snowboarding for the N64, uh, Fable 3, and Shadowrun for the 360. We then had a family come in and pick up a couple of generic uh, $2.99 uh, Game Boy Color games. They also got the protectors for them. 
then a family came in and picked up cars for the GameCube. Somebody came in and picked up a DS Lite AC adapter. And then one of our regulars came in and picked up four comics. So now guys, stay tuned for the wrap up. Alright guys, here is the wrap up portion of the video. On Saturday we did 746. Sunday we did 312 for a grand total of 1058. Saturday was an amazing day. Sunday, you know, was one of our average days during the summertime. Uh, it turned out to be a really, really good weekend for us. Uh, one item that I did keep for myself, I did not mention it, it came in with some of the first uh, stuff that the collector brought, one of the collectors brought in on Saturday, a game I have been looking for probably for five, six years now. It's not really a rare game, uh, not really worth a lot either, maybe $20, $30, but it's just an RPG for the Super Nintendo that I've just never come across. That game is Paladin's Quest. Really happy to get this, just like I said, I have been looking for it for quite a while. Uh, and it finally came in and I'm able to add it to my collection. So guys, thanks again for watching.